Hello, welcome again to me now playing. As the show now playing, as I continue to now play video games that we grew up with, that we're familiar with, some that we're not so familiar with, we're just gonna have some fun. My name's Tom Morris. The reason I'm doing now playing is there's always games that have a history, whether it's back in the 80s in the arcades, even the history today of the lineage of some of these games owe oh, an existence just so much to learn from video games to the history, how we played them, how they've evolved. I thought it'd be fun to every now and again go back and start reminiscing about games. We'll talk about them in the chat. Let me know if you find on my social media, Delve Into the Void at Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Put a comment in on some of the games that you would like to see me play in the future. Here we go. First is Dig Dug. The purpose of Dig Dug really is to dig, get your enemies. Ah, a thousand points. And I think I got myself in some trouble. I made it out of there. Let's see if I can get the dragon. I got the dragon. Hooray. That's my high score, 11,230. Let's see if I can beat it on this one playthrough. Hopefully I can get one. Go up. I'm in trouble. Ouch. Try not to make that mistake of letting him get too close. So far, so good. Now I can keep it up and I can hit my high score. I wonder if that means when they, uh, if they're going after my, well, the flowers are my levels, that I know. I think I'm getting the hang of this game now. And I'm in trouble. Move. Oh, he looks like a smurf when I'm moving him. See if I can get him before he goes up. There, I've gotten my high score. Feeling pretty accomplished. Everything I can do in one quarter. No, 
get back here. Wow, that dragon really went fast. Well, obviously that wasn't Gallica, but that was Dig Dug. We're going to do Pac-Man now. Pac-Man I'm not very good at. This should be a quick one. Gallica is really, out of the three, probably my best one. Oh, after Pac-Man, we'll do Gallica. Our Ghost Shadow Blinky, Speedy Pinky, Bashful Inky, and Pokey Clyde. My goal is to at least make it to the second maze. How's everyone doing today in chat land? Just drop me a comment. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what games you'd like to see me play in the future. I definitely think I will be doing Donkey Kong here. Maybe Donkey Kong Jr. Arcade here in the future. My cherry. Noticing the ghosts are speeding up. See if I can get them to my last power pellet. There we go. Wow, I feel very accomplished to do that board with one pack. At least I got to the second board. Doing a lot better than I thought. <laughs> yeah, that was not very good. I made it to the third board. Maybe I'll be able to get one more board and do it. I got an intermission. When Pac-Man came out in the 80s, it really became a cultural phenomenon. And we've used that word so many times. But it really did. Cartoons, action figures, serials, a hit song on the radio, Pac-Man Fever. various uh, ports who could uh,
Who here doesn't remember the Atari 2600 port? And the history behind that. I think there's some landfill. Well, I don't think I know. There are some landfills in Mexico where Atari dumped a bunch of unsold Pac-Man and E.T. and other cartridges. There's been some documentaries about that. I guess the moral of the story is just because you have a license to a property don't think it's just automatically going to sell. You got to put the time in, you've got to put the effort in into making the property work. Okay, that's Pac-Man. I'm pretty happy with what I did. 19,000 arcade 